Now that we've set up the scene, let's go ahead and set up the character. To set up the character, we follow a familiar set of steps by dragging the character in to the Object Setup Manager and then hit Setup Object. As soon as I hit Setup Object, you'll notice that the default material was added to all the different invisible materials and there is also a message printed to the console that tells you the number of materials that were updated. If you have a third person character, you won't have to go through this step. This is only for first person characters so that when you're a remote player, you'll see the full body instead of just the upper torso. So I need to now go through and replace these materials with the correct material. And it's a little bit of a boring process for a video, so I'm going to try doing it as quickly as I can. And I, I don't need to do every single material since the process is the same. So let's go ahead and do the armor. And then we have the head. And now we just have these weapons left. The assault rifle, or I guess I selected the sword. Let's do the sword first. And if we click on the assault rifle, we'll see that it has a decent amount of materials besides just the main body of it. So for this video, I'm just going to do just the main, the main body just so that we can continue on. Again, if you have the third person character already created, you don't need to go through that. That's only for purely first person characters. But we have the basic character set up. We'll, if we scroll down to the very bottom, we'll see that there's a bunch of new pun components added. And the thing that we need to do now is similar to what we went through with the bow, is that when the assault rifle drops, or the character di dies and he drops the assault rifle, we want him to drop a pun version of the assault rifle rather than this single player version. So we go ahead and let's duplicate that, the pickup, and we'll do the same thing for the sword. So we'll go to the sword and then we'll duplicate the pickup and we'll drag that in to the main folder just so we can easily find it. We'll do a rename. And let's go ahead and set it up in the object manager again. So now these pickups have been set up to work with pun. We now need to assign the pickups to these items. It's, it's a very similar process to what we went through with the bow and arrow. So now we've assigned these pickups and we gotta remember to also assign a reference to it within the pun object pool so it knows that these objects can be spawned over the network. All right. So the final step now is to just create a prefab out of the character. And this will allow Pun to actually spawn the object. And we don't need this character in the demo scene anymore. So let's go ahead and hit delete and then save the scene. So we're almost done and the next step will be just building it and seeing it work.